Hello and welcome friends. A new case of conditional probability and revision of probability or inverse probability or calculating revised probability. First of all the question is the contents of boxes 1, 2 and 3 are box 1, 1 white, 2 black and 3 red balls, box 2, 2 white, 1 black and 1 red ball and box 3, 4 white, 5 black and 3 red balls. One box is chosen at random and two balls are drawn from it. They happen to be white, rather they happen to be white and red, that means one white and one red. What is the probability that they came from box 1 or box 2 or box 3? This is the situation of boxes and balls. One box is selected first and then two balls are drawn from it. And they happen to be one white and one red. What is the probability of two balls coming from box 1 or box 2 or box 3? Okay, first of all, two balls are drawn. What is the probability that one is white and one is red? We are interested in this event, in first stage. The event of selecting one white and one red ball is possible in three mutually exclusive ways. First box is selected and one white and one red ball from it. Second or second box is selected and one white and one red ball from it. Or third box is selected and one red and one white ball from it. So this is possible as a joint event. Box number 1 and particular balls or box number 2 and particular or box number 3 and particular balls. But we are going to solve this sum through signs. A1 indicates, event A1 indicates box 1 is selected. Event A2 indicates box 2 is selected. Event A3, box 3 is selected. And B means 1 white and 1 red ball selected. Since there are 3 boxes Chances or probability of selecting any particular box is 1 by 3, P of A1, 1 by 3, P of A2, 1 by 3, P of A3, 1 by 3. What is P of B? It is the result of addition of 3 joint probabilities. But first of all, how can we calculate probability of selection of first box and two particular both from it? Or rather, P of A1, intersection B. How can we calculate? Direct calculation is not possible. First of all, we should calculate probability of selecting one white and one red ball if box 1 is selected. So, the situation is like this. Now out of this set of three probabilities, we know P of A1. Now out of these two, which can be calculated first? This can be calculated first. Probability of one white and one red ball if first box is selected. If first box is selected, we know the number of white and number of red balls. So we can calculate probability of one white and one red ball from the first box. So B given A1 can be calculated directly from the information. And we have P of A1, 1 by 3, 1 box is selected out of 3. Then we can have the probability of A1 intersection B. Similarly, we have to find out probability of A2 intersection B and probability of A3 intersection B. And addition of all these three joint probabilities will give us the probability of selecting one white and one red ball or probability of B from the entire scenario. So let us first calculate B of 
B given A1, that means probability of one white and one red ball if first box is selected. One white, one C1, and one red ball, three C1 upon six C2. One C1 is one C1 equals to one. Three C1 equals to three. Six C2 means six into five upon two means fifteen. So it comes to three by fifteen. Similarly, P of B given A2. That is probability of selection of one white and one red ball if second box is selected. Second box, two white out, one white out of two, and one red out of one. Upon four C two, two C one is two, one C one is one. Four C two is four into three, twelve divided by two, six. So it comes to two by six. We can simplify all these three. First of all, let us calculate all three. P of B given A three. Probability of selection of one white and one red ball if third box is selected. Third box, one white out of four in four C one ways and one red out of three in three C one ways and two out of twelve in twelve C two ways. Four C one is four, three C one is three. Twelve C two is twelve into eleven upon two. That is sixty six. So it comes to twelve by sixty six. Now we can also simplify this as one by five, this as one by three, and this as both can be divided by six two by eleven. These are the conditional probabilities of selecting one white and one red ball. Now we have the six probabilities with the help of which. we can draw probability of selecting one white and one red ball from the entire scenario first box is selected and a black uh, and one white and one red ball from it or second box is selected and one white and one red ball from it or third box is selected and one white and one red ball from it and that is p of a1 into p of b given a1 plus p of a2 into p of b given a2 plus p of a3 into p of b given a3 So one by three into one by five plus one by three into one by three plus one by three into two by eleven. That is one by fifteen plus one by nine plus two by thirty-three. One by fifteen plus one by nine plus two by thirty-three. Yes, they are correct. Now, how can we add this? What is the LCM of these three? Let us multiply first and uh, highest and the second highest. Thirty-three into fifteen is four hundred ninety-five. Four hundred ninety-five is also divided by nine. So it can be taken as LCM 495 divided by 15 is 33. 33 into 1 is 33 plus 495 divided by 9 that is 55 into 1 is 55 plus 495 divided by 33 is equal to 15. 15 into 2 is 30. So ultimately it comes to 118 upon 495. This is P of B, or probability of selecting one white and one red ball from the entire scenario is 118 divided by 495. Now the second part, the revised probability of A1 or A2 or A3. This is also known as inverse probability. Now what is the Say part of next part of the story. 
from this situation a box is selected at random and two balls from the selected box they happen to be one white and one red what is the probability that they came from either first box or second box or third box so now we know that p of b has happened selection of one white and one red ball has happened what is the probability that they came from first box or they came from second box or they came from the third box that means we want to calculate probability of selection of first box if one white and one red ball selected P of A1 intersection B that is 33 upon 495 divided by P of B 118 upon 495 that is 33 upon 495 multiplied by 495 by 118 so probability of first box if one white and one red ball was drawn is 33 by 118 this is called revised probability of selecting first box or this is also called inverse probability because we calculated probability of selection of a particular box on the basis of the knowledge about happening of the event of selecting one white and one red ball. I live to calculate P of A2 given B and A3 given B to you. On the basis of this, just calculate the remaining two probabilities as your homework. That's it. Thank you very much.